Brad Sherwin, Technical Agronomy and Data Analytics Lead for Landis Cooperative, and welcome to the Agronomy Minute. Farming is all about risk and reward. Each year you invest money in renter land payments, seed, herbicide, insecticide, fungicide, and fertilizers. Our job is to help you navigate all the decisions you need to make so you come out ahead financially. Now in today's episode, we're going to talk about Phytophthora root rot in soybeans. One of the key diseases to be aware of in your soybean fields this year is Phytophthora root rot. Now, Phytophthora root rot is an oomycetes or water mold. And there is no silver bullet to stop it. However, knowing it's an oomycete gives us a few clues on how best to manage Phytophthora root rot on your fields. One of the key things to look for in fields with suspected Phytophthora root rot problems is a chocolate brown coming up on the outside of the lower stem starting at the soil level and working up the first few nodes. Oomycete pathogens need a wet environment, and in the case of Phytophthora root rot, it also needs a warm environment. Phytophthora root rot prefers temperatures in the upper 70s to 80s. Knowing wet and warm are keys to Phytophthora root rot development is important because season-long soil management is required since Phytophthora root rot can develop early and also later into the season. Excellent subsurface drainage is important to ensure the ideal mixture of air and water in the top several feet of soil. Excess water allows Uomycetes to essentially swim and find more plants to infect. Soil compaction management is also important to allow massive root growth while providing good internal water drainage. Now, nearly every base fungicide seed treatment package you find in the market will claim Phytophthora root rot control. The other big variable here is the rate of the fungicides being used. Look for treatments with multiple effective modes of action on Phytophthora root rot. There are a number of Phytophthora root rot genes available in soybeans today. However, each of them is only resistant to a fraction of the known strains of Phytophthora. Picking soybeans with one or more of these genes is as helpful, especially in the mid to later growing season after seed treatment and planting time fungicide applications have worn out. Now, the best agronomic recommendation is to observe which resistant genes are working in the best in your area and choose them. Also, if there are several genes that work well, rotate between them to lengthen the number of years they will be effective on your farm. Since you never really know when Phytophthora root rot will show up or when it will be bad enough to take five or 10 bushels an acre from your field, make sure your internal drainage, in other words, the below ground drainage is good. Use a quality seed treatment with effective multiple modes of action and pick varieties that have good tolerance and or resistance to Phytophthora root rot. That's all for today's episode. Thank you for taking time to watch our video. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when we post our next video. And lastly, hit that thumbs up so we can bring you more agronomic content. We really appreciate it.